I'm coming from uh, Luxembourg. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here. This is the second richest country in the world. Look how their library looks like. This is their library, man. Right there it says Biblioteca. So it's... My friend gonna feel very bored today. Because, you know, when you're doing a live stream and you stand, he doesn't... Somebody does not feel very okay. But again, I'm sorry for him today. I want to show you guys, please give the video a like. If you've never subscribed to my channel, please, you want to get uh, to 400,000 subscribers. Please, guys, subscribe to the channel. I've not been telling you this for a while. This is the, the old town, old town of Luxembourg, second richest country in the world. We are leaving it now because we want to go to the new, new town. Wow. Hey, bro, look at this. Did you see this? It has like eyes. You see, there's like an eye, 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 eye. Yes. That's the problem sometimes when you visit, you visit a place with somebody who has been here like 20 times. He doesn't see the, the need of standing. He feels kind of... Hey, how is this guy standing? So, uh, maybe I'll learn to do things alone. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Look at the cars on the streets. That is a Benz, the next car is BMW, you know, it's just, a, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's Luxembourg, uh, we just did an impromptu visit here. Actually, I have some of my subscribers here. Today I talked to the lady and she was really nice with me, she told me, hey Marwa, if you want to come and stay at my place, if you're watching this video, madam, thank you so much. Actually, she's from Kenya. So it was really, really nice of her inviting her, inviting me to her place. Say, so, yeah, you can always call my place your place, Maro. Look at this, the richest country in the world. Hey, bro, where are we going? Are we going to the old... We do the town, just follow me. Okay. So I just want to know like where we are going right now, just to explain. We're, we're, we try we try to go to the financial district where all the money is made where, where they make the money oh you you mean they make the money here no they have uh, you know business bank okay so the reason why this country is very very rich is it is a financial hub it used to be a place where you can hide your money but not anymore i'm not sure about that actually uh maybe i'm wrong but uh hey how did this country become so rich banking industry finance finance and banking so people will will will, will bring their money here and these guys will use their money to become for example before a big company like uh, apple Yes. Let's make the office here and they will not pay no tax. Oh. They will pay low tax, but yes. the country will also make money. Yes, yes, because they are building houses, they are they're employing people. But you see, no, it's, it, that was before. Now the company, they go to Ireland. Ireland is the best now for this. Oh. Wow, guys, they're still constructing here. These guys are very serious. So Look. you see, like many uh, European. Many American company. Yes. The European office is it Luxembourg. Oh. Because here tax are low. Oh. Wow. Wow. And it's not like they are avoiding tax, but they found a place where tax is low. Yeah. Is low. Yeah. They are not, but that yeah, but now they have these countries to compete with Ireland. In Ireland the tax is even lower. Oh. That's a way. So more people are going to Ireland. Yeah, Google is there, Facebook. Uh, oh, Apple, wow. They're all in Ireland. Wow. I feel like taxes actually affect the country. You know? So we're we, we in this area. People are just eating. It's a normal, regular day in the streets of the second richest country in the world. They are building their home. I love, actually, when I see people build, because it, show, it shows you, look the stones they are using, man. 
it's like once they put it it's they're putting it you know wow bro how many times have you been here i don't know many times you wanna go this way okay we have to do the same. all right this is a typical european style of dining and uh, it looks classy but it looks lonely for me look how they fix their trees they are still building like these guys are so serious man building 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 looks and bag actually this looks like the the bad side it's a very beautiful uh, place very beautiful and uh, it's not the natural beauty but it's created you know you see like even this home it has trees people are parking their bikes outside and if there's some construction they put some marks to show they are very serious people actually very serious <laughs> serious so guys have you ever heard of this country called Luxembourg and also what do you know about this country maybe Maru is not giving you some information please drop in the comment section below let's know what uh, you know about this and this country called Luxembourg and also we want to walk around this uh, district's area then later this looks like the low, raw streets look okay rich boys uh, rich boys of Luxembourg yeah, they have a teddy bear hey hey my friend when you have a lot of money in your family you can do whatever until, you want uh, until 2014 yes you could come here you will open a bank account and your money is even. oh but now it's uh, starting in 2014 the, the law is changed now when you open a bank account here in your country they know oh Oh, a long time ago you used to hide your, you can yeah. hide your money until 2014. Yes. So maybe that explains why this country is very rich like this. Yeah, and... Uh, because so people hid their money here. Yeah, Switzerland, they continue, they, they pass the law and they say, yeah, we don't care about this law and they continue until 2018. But the European Union, they say, yeah, you have to apply the law, you have to apply the law. And Switzerland said, no, we were not European uh, Union. But then they, they, you know, they were forced to apply it. So in 2000, since 2018, it's like this all year. Now you have to pay ta taxes. Mm. It's not that you have to pay taxes. That but if you open a pound bank account in Switzerland... Your country knows. In, in here, your country knows. Look at this, guys. The second richest country in the world. In your opinion, which is number one richest country? Please write right there. Let's get to see. It's a beautiful day. How are you going, Louise, man? You got the knife. The knife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Louise wants us to see the knife, but it's not something that excites me that much. I fear, I fear those especially. Yeah, because in... I live in the mountains, so you always need a knife when you are in the mountains. It's wow. so useful. Look how beautiful this place is. Is that gold? You know, they have like some painting up there. It looks like gold. Second richest country here. Luxembourg. Live video. Is that a flag of Ukraine? Or which flag is this? I don't know. But uh, European Union, Luxembourg flag. And I don't know the next flag, what it represents. There's a guy looking at me <laughs> right there. Mm. It's so beautiful, man. Kobe in my language means tortoise, you know? It means? Tortoise. Please give the video a like, guys. We're right here in one of the richest countries in the world. I hope you see up there how it looks like. Mara is showing you. I don't know when I'll be back here again. I'm just showing you once and uh, it's a golden opportunity for both of us, for me and for you viewers also to just see the second richest country in the world, you know. Please let me see what people are saying. Ukraine, yellow and blue flag. Oh, that's Ukraine. Okay. So it means they are standing with Ukraine. Okay, I see what you mean. 
Wow, these guys are serious, bro. They build. <laughs> Look like a house like this, full glass, top to bottom. You can imagine when they were constructing it, they didn't even think of putting walls. You know? Top to bottom, glass. And not just glass, but pure glass and no wall. Damn, that's how you build a house. Uh, so now we're in the narrow streets. It's, it's, a, it's a standard. I don't know if you can see how these stones look shiny. See that? That's like one stone, man. This is crazy. Luxembourg. Please remember the transport system here is free. You can actually enjoy traveling around Luxembourg as a country for free. So you wake up in the morning, your job is to pick your bag and run to work. You're not even surprised like, oh, what will happen? Oh, I forgot my wallet. No. Here is one touch. You're home. What is that? I think it's sucking something. Wow. So this is the old town. We're going to take you to the new, new town. Look the type of material they used to build. You know this stone? I've seen it before. Granite. You know, granite. Wow. These houses look very old. Okay. Very old. We are coming live from uh, Luxembourg, guys. Please give the video a like if you've never subscribed to my channel. I'm taking you to this busy city center, so stay tuned. Don't be like, this is a boring video. No, just be here with us. We're going to take you over and over to many different countries. This is my European tour. Uh, this is my fourth country right now in Europe. Fourth country. So it's very significant to me. I'm still new in Europe. I met Luis, his name is Luis, in Mexico. He was sitting somewhere in a beach, and I was like, bro, what are you doing here, man? He was the only black guy there. So I tried getting to know him, and funny enough, now we are, we are here. We are here, man. Life is, life is like that. Life is just as crazy as that. Please give the video a like. Always remember to share my videos. If you've never subscribed to my channel, Please subscribe also. Okay. Let's walk you through Europe. You want to see this Europe that people want to, want to come all the time. If actually it has enough money. There's a very nice view here if you see, guys. A very nice view here if you see. See? Very, very nice view. Uh, people are just chilling right there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Uh, Luxembourg. And you know, houses are built like, you see how this house starts? But you can actually access the top from this, this part here. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's a bridge. Hey, these guys are serious, man. Let's go, Luis, man. Even I'm getting, I'm getting tired. You, you want to chill someplace? No, we can go back and we take a train, man. We go back to home. Or what, what's the plan? Well, we can go home if you want. Yeah, because it's three hours from here, so we're going to arrive in the evening. Yes. Wow. So this is the old town, guys. We're going to take you to the new, new, new city where everything looks very modern. We're going back. Yeah. This is where we came from. Yeah. We cannot go like this and find a road somewhere else. Maybe you can go up like this. Oh, there's an, no any other way. Let's let's. It's, it's boring just to go back the same same place we just came from. Yeah. I think she's also visiting. I think where she came from, she can... Wow, guys. Luxembourg. Look, look. They, they build with stones. This is stones. Yeah, these people are serious. And one thing I've loved about Europe is they make their life easy. Imagine traveling around the Schengen region. Like, you don't need visa. You go, you, you're you just told, hey, bro, we're in a new country. Boom. In Africa, that's very, very, very different. Like, even from one country to another, you just need nearly everything. You need COVID tests, you need these. 
vaccine you know it's crazy but but in europe everything seems to be very you take a train from one country to the next like you can you can travel to five countries in a day if you want especially being around here belgium or being around this country here it's very very so how do we go man all right let's go so this is the old town of luxembourg it's very clean man people here are serious with life you know these are the places i show people and my reason is very simple maybe one day yes, yes maybe one day i think we have to go this way i think one day maybe you'll become president of your country build you see see how they build they're very very serious guys okay luxembourg wow these are their motorcycles big motorcycles man honda please give the video a like we're gonna go to the city center i think this is the most interesting part of the video where we are going and um we are in luxembourg is a uh, a country in Europe, the second richest country in Europe, a population of 600,000 people, and also uh, it's ruled by a king, prime minister, parliament, people can vote, but again, we still have a king, but again, the king is not active, it's more ceremonial, ceremonial means it does not directly affect the country in terms of decision making, but the most exciting part is uh, Public transport here is free. You just wake up, carry your bag in your bag like this, and boom. The discovery of significant reserves of iron ore in the mid this changed. Oh, Luzen, uh, Luxembourg, it's fortune almost overnight. Oh, all right. So one of my subscribers says Luxembourg became really popular because uh of of uh, of iron okay so it means they used to export iron look how i want to give a very special shout out to m olens olensin for donating nine danish hey money for denmark how do you call it danish what no yeah somebody donated please tell me danish what what is that danish something the money i want to say thank you so much my brother so now now we this is where we came from bro because i still haven't done my video okay so what do you think i give you time you do it then we meet somewhere here you give me 10 minutes five the video is um is interview is we talk about uh, uh travel oh, about me Yes, so you can give advice to my viewer. Okay, okay. So, okay, so, okay, so what do we do? Uh, because I'm doing this live stream, people are watching. Yes. So let's do this. If they can, they, we can, you we give, can stream there and tell you. <laughs> okay, give me, give me 15 minutes. Yeah, okay. I, I finish the video. Okay. Just tell me where I'll find you. So I can walk, show them the whole city. You prepare after 15 minutes i'll be back so we can do your live stream i wish you told me that moment we had stopped the first one okay so he, we want to do an interview with him but uh, i want to take you around to the new Luzen, uh, luxembourg luxembourg then i'll come do the interview i don't know what's burning there there's something they're burning there i think fallen soldiers so let me take you to the city center guys then from there i'll come do the live stream or uh, the video so luis hey luis okay i think he's kind of mad with me you know that's the funny thing uh, when you're traveling and you're doing youtube videos oh look 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 let me show you uh, so when you're traveling to people and you film video like what i'm doing 
the other person gets bored because you are talking to your subscribers and the other person feels ignored which is not true so in that case it's very easy to find okay let me show you what's going on here. that's their bridge so in that case it's very easy for the other person to feel uh, to feel kind of ignored so anyway we have 15 more minutes we do this video and we're gonna stop it so please don't leave the live stream as we show you the beautiful 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 Luxembourg look how it is second richest country in the world let's see which type of cars do they drive that is a BMW that is a Honda that's a, I don't know which car BMW Tesla uh, I think Honda Honda uh, if it's not BMW oh wow they like BMW more and this is their buses public buses free free of charge okay and down here they are building look look they are building man these guys are serious they don't play around so uh, traveling traveling with him no I am not actually traveling with him but he's my friend I met him in Mexico so he lives in Belgium so when I was there he lives in Belgium Brussels which is uh, two hours and a half or three hours from here so when I was there let me do this so you can see the view in the background when I was in Brussels I told him hey bro I'm in your city where are you and I want to go to Lux Luxembourg do you want to go with me let's go man I told him let's go actually I'm the guy who convinced him to come so yeah when we are here and I'm filming it's very difficult for him to catch up because I'm talking to you guys and um, he may feel ignored, which is not the case. And him, he wants us to sit somewhere. Me, I want to show you the city because I'm so conflict of interest. Okay, let's walk direct to the city center. I want to show you Luxembourg. This other side looks like this. I don't know if you can see an old train passing over there. Okay. So somebody says no uh no for known for high income levels and low unemployment rate luxembourg is the richest country in the world with its my con sorry my connection disappeared i don't know what's happened maybe that bridge has no connection i was just crossing here so this is old uh luxembourg and this is um the new Luxembourg. So what actually separates them, it's this bridge here, okay? So this bridge separates them. So now, we're gonna do a 10 minutes walk here, okay? To the city center. We see the richest country in the world, how it looks like. The richest country in the world. I was actually of the idea, what's, what's happening here? Uh -huh. richest country in the world uh -huh. welcome to the richest country in the world let's cross here i take you to the city center we see how rich the richest country lives how people live here oh Shit, man. Actually, I forgot that. <laughs> Ooh, I should have checked that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me. Now I'm in the middle here, man. I'm in the middle here. Remember that bridge? On my internet. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with my internet. Internet keeps keeps up and down. I have no idea. Wow, this is beautiful, man. So, Luxembourg beautiful day the streets of luxembourg how does it feel to be here maro honestly i smell money and everywhere i see numbers like right there i see 46 45 40. i don't know yes but actually it's a nice city very chill it feels calm nice fancy shopping malls you know 
clothes. It's just amazing. So this is how people in the richest countries live. But um, it's really, really good. Please guys, what's happening with my internet? It keeps uh, fluctuating. But I want to say, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me show you Luxembourg the way it is, raw and uncut, live. Please comment one if you can uh, hear me loud and clear. My internet has been really, really bad. I don't know what's going on. And I want you guys actually to tell me if you can hear me or I'm just talking to myself right here. Okay. So let's, let's see what Luxembourg is. <clears throat> wow. Beautiful. Beautiful Luxembourg. Chill. Look how the streets look like. Okay. Go directly to the center station. Um, you have the big banking building. All right. We shall go there and see what's, what's going on. Imagine in a country where transport system is free, man. People sitting in a bus, you just walk in and walk out. What is, hey, look like right now they are waiting for the bus. It's free. Even me, I can go. I can go inside. You know? So, let's see. Now, even I wonder if taxis make money here because this looks narrow because of the construction here. So let's go through. Let's go through this construction. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. The video quality, just the video quality, guys. I'm really trying. You know, there's something. There's nothing I can do. I bought enough internet bundle. That's why. And mine is roaming. I bought this in Spain, so I'm using that up to now. So just bear with me. But uh, at least, uh, let me show you, at least, you know, let me show you what you can see here. Luxembourg. Wow. This is how the streets look like. Okay. So, I have to be careful. Crossing like that. Okay. It's a very beautiful street this way. Very, very beautiful. I want to take you to the center where we arrived today. There are still people begging in the streets. That's the funny thing. Or maybe they think there's money here so somebody can beg. But again, I'm not I'm I'm not judging anybody. Just speculating. Yes. Guys, how do you think? of the richest country in the world does it feel like your home country or actually it feels like there is money here let's see one piece one piece of this is 49 two pieces 79 wow one is 49 euros okay so you can imagine it's not just it's not dollars it's euros Euros are on top of dollars for those guys who don't understand, you know? So, this is the richest country in the world. This is how people live. People chill in the bench. Nice buildings. Also, there's going to be a video coming in. These are, this is the main street. This is like the most chaotic street. The street with lots of people and totally... So this is their most chaotic street. Let's go and see. Well, I want to take you to the center. Solomon, thank you so much, man. That will help me buy some water here. Or even something to drink. You know, thank you so much, Solomon. I really appreciate for the 10 US dollars, man. Thank you so much, Solomon. I really appreciate it. Yes, Central Commercial. Let's go. Okay. Let's go see, let's go see. Actually, I've realized also there's a, there's a black population here. And in my conclusion is, everywhere in Europe, there are black people, I've seen that. Not as many, but at least you see them, you know? At least you see them. I'm gonna take you to the center there. We wait for the trains to come. Wow. Actually, it's a beautiful city. 
And the funny thing, planes pass here. You know, it's a small country, so the airports should be around here. Planes pass here. Look at their transport system. Tram. I don't know tram. I don't know train. I don't know the other one, subway. I always call them train. But again, welcome to Luxembourg. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. You know, there are people who watch me every day, they don't subscribe. Let me also give a very special shout out to Soul Kid Official. Thank you so much, my brother, for donating 195 Kenyan shillings. I really, really appreciate that makes a difference in my travels here in Europe. As I show you around Europe, it feels amazing, you know? So, let's go here and see. For me, I think this is the center right here. Yeah, I saw a lot of people take trains here. I think even me, maybe I may have to take a train back. Yeah, let me take a train and see where it, it drops me. I think that's what I'll do. <laughs> Let's go, I'll take a train back. Yes, Luxembourg, the richest country in the world. Imagine of this, you know? It's, it's just amazing, clean, you know? Some ladies working here. You know? Richest country in the world. You see, they have bike lane, they have trams. Let's go, let's go there. Then I'll take a train going this way. I hope I don't get lost. And there's a guy waiting for me, man. <laughs> If I get lost, hey, it's gonna be uh, old town. Let's go and see what to see. So when you arrive in this country, mostly with the train, this is the building where you pick your trains or your trains will drop you. For example, right now, you wanna go back to Belgium. Uh, you're gonna be dropped somewhere here. People walk chill, it's a chill vibe. Everybody knows their own space. And even if sometimes, as I told you before, something funny about Europe is this road can be used by buses, it can be used by anything. It's still, people respect that, you know? Let's see if I can catch that tram. Beautiful day, man. Super beautiful day in Luxembourg. You see? I feel like the train will leave me. Oh, it's it's full. So it's going. Look how their trains look like. Not trains, sub, um, tram. Yes. Sometimes I confuse trains, trams, and everything. So if you hear me say train, subway, just understand, man. Maro just came from the village. He's trying to cope up with everything. Let's wait. See, dustbin everywhere. Another dustbin. And remember I told you something about Europe. They always have uh, points where you can drink water. So like this point here, if you aren't drinking water, you just tap here and have your water and you drink well-treated water right there. And it's functioning, not just not just something that's the funny thing and not just here the entire europe think of that so let's wait we want to ride um, a tram and we see what we can do okay so this is the train station looks like this okay let's see is one coming Guys, if I get lost, please help me in the comments. <laughs> this one I'm gonna film also with my camera because it's it's uh, something I wanna. Transport is free. Let me see if they're gonna ask me for money or not. Let me go here. Wow. sit here man hey, hey i'm telling you 
Uh, welcome to Luxembourg, where it's it's free transport. I'm filming with my camera, and I'm also filming with my. Sorry, guys. I was making a live stream here. You can see. We have uh, 159 people watching. We want to try their tram for free. Let's see if it's free, okay? Wow. Eh? Maru is here, man. <laughs> free transportation. Let's see if it's true. Or I will reach someone and they ask me for money. They say, hey boy, come here. Why didn't you not pay? Hello. There's a, a black guy right there. I want, to, I want to have sit next to me and ask her some questions, but she doesn't even speak English. Uh, the language Luxembourg, Germany, English, French, Portuguese. Yeah, they speak all types of languages here. So now we're going to take a tram ride. What an amazing, amazing trip. Wow. So off we go. So this is the official tram. Tram tour. And look at the other side. Another one passing. Another one right there. We go through the city. Wow. Luxembourg. Huh? Beautiful city, man. Remember, I am traveling for free. Okay? Welcome to Luxembourg. I'm traveling for free. Not just me, but everybody is in this train is, is traveling for free. Okay? <laughs> wow, man. Free travel in Europe. Richest country. Wow. Please uh, drop your comments here. Still waiting you in Texas. More are coming in. Let's see. Just the day. Okay. Let's see, man. Somebody says stop. What should I stop? Me, I'm enjoying, man. I'm enjoying my European tour here with you guys. You know? Hey, let me see how this goes, man. Please give the video a like. If also you can donate to the channel, I really appreciate to support my travels. Europe is very expensive, man. But thank God to Luxembourg. It's free transport. So I'm right here. I'm saving my euros. Wow. This other side also looks like that. This other side. Beautiful adventure. People inside just chilling. Last the mess. Somebody's saying, Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. I just sat inside a tram. I'm just heading that way. I'm gonna meet my friend who is kind of tired right now. Wow. Oh, let's see, man. Let's see. Uh, Soma here, super chat. Oh, somebody says I should read a super chat which was sent here. Let me read some super chat. Oh, okay. Adika Star, thank you so much for donating 20, Euro, 20 euros. Wow, that's amazing. I had, not seen, I had not seen your super chat. Thank you so, so much. That will help me here support my travels in Europe. And um, things are expensive here, but another tram, you see? 
another tram ride. Yes, thank you so much, Adika Stars, for donating 20 euros to your boy, I am Marwa. Yes, I'm riding for free. This country, everything is free, especially transport. Okay. Wow. Oh, I know. I want to get off the next station. I, I think I know where I'm going now. Um, I want to get, get off right here. I want to get off right here. In the next station. This is my room. Chilling. Very amazing here. I need a cameraman. Huh? Luxembourg. The most beautiful city, and the security is, is very, very good here. Okay, so I'm taking you along with me in the best ride you can have, and the best city of Europe, the richest of all. So let me get out. I just got out, I have too many things in my hands. So now, I wanna look for, I wanna look for Luis. Sorry guys. I have my power bank, I have my camera, so it's time to look for some guy I left uh, somewhere in the park. Okay? We are in Luxembourg. So that is the train that brought me here. Free transport. Huh? At least I've enjoyed it. It's really nice. I can for sure confirm it's free transportation. Yes, and not just in the city. The entire country is free transport. Imagine of that, man. You don't you, you wake up in the morning not thinking of how much I didn't carry enough money for my for my you no know, transport system or you know or sometimes because right now there's high prices of petrol, you don't even care if there's high prices or not because transportation is free and also they have buses not just and it's electric i don't know if you can see right here in this bus right there it says electric see electric buses okay damn bro so let's cross i want to show you this i love this man i love that Luxembourg. Keep Vini says you are amazing. Thank you so much, Keep Vini, for donating 20, 20 US dollars to your boy I Amaro. Also, here people beg. See, there's a guy begging right there. See? Uh, so, even here, people beg actually. So, it's not like people are actually like really, really rich. Let's go through here and see. Okay? It's amazing, really, really amazing, super amazing. I think they want to pick bicycles from here. So there are many... One thing I don't know is, do you have to pay for these bicycles? Or is free? Let me ask this guy. Hey, bro. Hey, man, how are you? Man, is it free for... Free transport also with the motor. Uh, with no, the... no, no. This one you have to pay. You have to pay. Yeah, you got like a station where you can buy with your credit card. Oh, this one you pay. Yeah, yeah. So this one you pay. What's free here, man? The public transport. Oh, public transport. Um, you got like the, the bus. Yeah. The train. Yeah. And the tram. Okay. In the whole country. Whole country. Yeah. Well, whole Luxembourg. But uh, if you are going um, like uh, Hear what in he's Germany saying? Yeah. or no. France or Belgium, no. there you have to pay. 
Okay. Once you, if you are going international, because the system does not operate yeah. internationally, you have to pay. Yeah. And but for the bicycles, you have to pay also. Yeah, this one you have to pay. But uh, bus, tram. Uh, yeah, bus, uh -huh. tram, and train. Is free. It's free. You are from here? Yeah, I'm local here. Yeah. Oh, you're local, man. Yeah. I'm doing actually a video of your city, man. Yeah, on my I'm YouTube, seeing that. On my YouTube channel. Maybe it's... it's, it's nice to meet you all. Man, are people so rich here, bro? Rich? Uh, yeah, because, you know, yeah, the streets... Yeah, like cliche. Cliche. That's like cliche. Uh -huh. um, you see some people who have money. Yes. Do the, the banking stuff and all that. Oh. But uh, we still got also a lot of people who are struggling. Oh. Um, Live here or like man with all these nice roads like this how can people struggle man i know i'm uh, i mean like everything is getting more look, expensive look know? how they are cleaning their streets man rich <laughs> country in the world yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, i mean get a good pay yes but the thing is like everything is so expensive Especially oh like the, rent, like the housing rent they are it's very expensive Wait, so somebody actually told me. I hope this yeah, car I'm goes away. Please, I hope, I hope this guy passes away. They are cleaning their seats. Whoa! So they do this all the time? No, not all the time, but mostly, yeah. But it's good for my video just to show people how, how like, here they don't look for people to clean. They have like machines to do. Yeah, yeah, we have that. Man, yeah. what is the minimum pay for a job here, man? Minimum, minimum. pay. Yes. Uh, let's say I get a job today. Let's say working in a. Let's say working in a shop. Yeah, the minimum wage would be yes. like two thousand two hundred. That is like the minimum wage. Two thousand three hundred euros. Yeah, but still, like people are struggling with that amount of money. Yeah, because the thing is, everything else is expensive. Food is Especially expensive. Like the housing renters. <laughs> What's a one bedroom, bro? Here, one bedroom. Yeah. One bedroom. One bedroom, you yeah. can expect like 900 euros. 900 euros. That's like really like expensive. If you like compare it with other countries, yeah. that's like too much. No. 900, one bedroom. Yeah. Is education free here, bro? Like what? Education. Education. Ed education um, is mandatory. Um, free. But uh, you can drop out at uh, college, but it's not like... No, no, I mean I mean public, public. Is it free? Yeah, it's free. And uh, university? No, I mean no, primary, free. primary, secondary is yeah. free. But uh, you know what, dude? Yeah. I'm, I'm oh, all right, man. Thank you, man. I <laughs> waiting for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but th thank uh, you so much. Three minutes. Yeah, no problem, then. Man, uh, maybe check my YouTube channel so you can see yourself, man. Yeah, okay. You know? Of course. Guys, I'm gonna say thank you so much. Uh, he has been a great guy here, <laughs> randomly in the street. Like a skater guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, once I saw you with the skate, I knew you were a chill guy, chill vibes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you so, want. so it's such I am Marwa. I am Marwa. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, this guy is from Luxembourg. Uh, hey, rich boys, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> check it when you have the edit the video. Yeah. Man, it's 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 amazing channel, man. Yep. Even right now, you see how many people are watching. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm seeing. You like see right it. there, we have 214 people. Oh, you're yeah, you're So thank you, okay. man. Thank have you, bro. Right there, yeah. What's one thing, you, at least before you go, you wish yeah. to tell people that people don't know about this country? Just the last one as I go. The last thing is um, about Luxembourg. It's a beautiful city. Yeah. It's a beautiful country. Yes. And especially like we got like a lot of multiple nationality here oh so, uh, she, she's also from here she's actually black yeah i mean we got everybody like, french german uh, american i don't know a lot of people take care my brother man your, your name is yeah yeah see you later <laughs> okay wow look how they are cleaning here let me show you this machine these guys are amazing you know oh this guy is, is rotating so let me go this way maybe he's, he's running away from my camera so public so public transport is free but not but not private let this guy pass so they're still cleaning the city look man wow that is his job machines it's just amazing how huh? wow guys please if you've enjoyed the video please give it a like subscribe to the channel this is i amaro in the streets of luxembourg 
and uh, I want to tell you, man, it's just amazing here. And uh, everything is organized. Look, even right here, plastic is put together because they wanna, they wanna. There's another small car right there. I think carrying garbage. These people are so serious here, man. They are so serious. Look, I think this is for the garbage. Yeah, it's garbage. Look, they are so serious. Man, I've never seen some a serious country like this one. It's the richest in Europe. Richest in Europe. <laughs> Man, when you travel around the world, you see crazy things. And uh, now I'm getting lost. Maybe I go back and use the main road. Okay? Let me use the main road because otherwise I'll get, I'll, I'll get really lost. Let me go this way and use the main road. Man, when you travel around the world, you see a lot of things. Somebody says, no, Maro, there is transport tax we pay. Oh, this is somebody from Luxembourg. I'm doing a live stream here for those guys who are watching this. I'm doing a live stream here. We have close to 300 people watching. But me, I would prefer we pay like that than just waking up and, and prices are just high. You know, other countries, they do that. You wake up in the morning and you can't even afford going to school because it's very expensive. So, one thing I've loved the most is this tram, it's the best, really, really good. Okay, so, Luxembourg, who is here, man? Who is here to show Maro something? Guys like to skate here a lot, that's what I'm seeing, you know? Life in Luxembourg, you know? Europe, this is the Europe, man. Europe, Europe. So, so that guy just confirmed, that guy just confirmed that the least amount, if you employ somebody here, you can pay him, is 2,300, 2,200 euros. I love this. I love this. I love that. I just rode in one. Very, very amazing. Okay. Let me give another special shout out to people who have donated to my channel. And... Uh, that is, uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, I'm looking for people. Keep VIP, and also we had Aaron B. I see you right there, my brother. Streets of uh, Luxembourg. This is the official tour. I'll do one more video on my YouTube channel, and that will be it for this country. So far, I want to say I've really enjoyed it. It's very clean. You know, you, you, you just feel like you're in Europe, you know? That feel and touch. You just feel that. Wow, let's see how this guy, man. This guy with this case. Wow, see that? That's amazing, man. Okay, let's keep walking and see what we can see around. All public transport is free. This is the flag of Luxembourg. Uh, red represents blood which was shed during, you know, those times people are fighting. And uh, white represents peace. And blue represents the fact that they stole the idea from France. Actually, that's what it means. Blue says, okay, this flag does not really belong. It's not our idea. It's from France. So we paint it blue just to say, Thank you, France, for giving us an idea of our flag. That is what it means. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We're going to be stopping in a few minutes. Let me keep reading. I think someone has donated, uh, West has donated two euros. Actually, man, thank you so much for those donations. Uh, remember, taxis here could be Mercedes Benz like this. You may not be surprised it's a taxi. Here in Europe, I've seen that a lot. I'm gonna go meet my friend somewhere there who we came with. But you know, when you are a YouTuber and you are doing live streams, it's very boring to have somebody walk close to you. You need some special time on your own to do it. But this is a Luxembourg. Yes, beautiful, beautiful day. Huh? They are cleaning car. So that guy inside there, the minimum he can be paid is two thousand. 200 euros or 300 euros around there okay 
Ah, it's a nice, beautiful country, man. Very nice. People drive also good cars. It's Mercedes, it's BMWs, Volkswagen also. Look at Jaguar. Ah, that's a Jaguar. This is another street, local streets. That one right there is a local street. So you can imagine. Ah, look at that. This is the flag. Mm. I love you guys. Thank you so much for showing up. One day you'll be an ambassador. No, I think if if there's something I, I will do for my country, it's like to be infrastructure somebody, you know? Minister of Infrastructure. I build roads, man, like the way I see them here. Yes. Uh, Adas, Ad, um, Adaksta says, well done, host. Uh, thanks for showing us this beautiful place. It's the richest country in Europe. In Europe or in the world, I'm told, in the world. Look how they are preparing now. They are preparing for guests to come. Look how beautiful this is. Look. So chill. They have bamboos. Then the next restaurant feels like this. Restaurants franchise bar. And this other side. This is the they call her the, this here is gold. Right there. That's gold. They say the lady of of uh, the golden lady. Okay. So the golden lady right there represents uh, the fallen soldiers of this country maybe people who fought for the freedom i just actually don't know but you know a long time ago people used just to fight and fight and fight okay public transport system free of charge look that's a mercedes-benz look the next car the next car is audi audi the next car standing there is a mercedes-benz hey man right here the golden lady Luxembourg never had any army or wars oh no the flag represents that maybe they fought wars for other countries especially with the French I feel like they are more attached to France than any other country from my thinking because even the flag I'm told the idea of that flag came from France so they must have something you know and sometimes you know these people they used to conquer kingdoms far away from here so they would send soldiers to go and fight for them somewhere else you know mercedes benz and volkswagen also is very common here volkswagen is right here there's even toyota taxi toyota also so you can find everything you want but see the next taxi here oh thank you this guy just said it cross thank you Looks and bad. Eh, people have to cross exactly where it's designated. That's this plane. And that's order. I love that. Not just random places, people just crossing, crossing anyhow they want. Wow, guys. What an amazing, beautiful city. Now I think I know it. Actually, I've walked this city like. You can walk 15 to 30 minutes, like around it. Because now I already know this place. I was here in the morning and I already feel like I am here. I know what to do. Yes, Metz France is so close to Luxembourg. That's true. Look the next thing here. One of the best buildings here in Luxembourg. I'm telling you, these guys when this is a biblioteca. It's biblioteca means uh, it is a um, library. This is a library, the one you see in front of me. It's their main library here, okay? And some boys skating outside the library. So in front of you, that's the library you see right there. This other side is kind of one of the main squares here of Luxembourg, okay? Let's go this way. Now from here, I start getting lost. I think I should go straight this way. Otherwise, I'll get lost. Yes. Wow. You know, I'm supposed to meet a friend of mine who is somewhere. 
and I'm hoping where I'm heading to is that somewhere. <laughs> yes. Yeah, looks and bag. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Free transportation, even if they take tax money. How many countries take tax money and they can't provide free transportation? I still applaud these people. And one thing I've learned about Europeans is they try to make their lives as easy as possible. They, they don't like to make their lives difficult, you know? Wow, look at that. Very, very beautiful, man. Wow, just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching my live stream today. Thank you for everybody who donated to the channel. Thank you for everybody that at first we tried making the live stream and it didn't work, but you guys still came through. You never left. I want to say thank you so much and I really, really, really appreciate. You know, it's just amazing. Hey, what's up? Yeah, those guys were fearing the camera. But I'm telling you, it's been so nice. Look at their buses. Just amazing, you know, and the architecture here. This was kind of Hebrew. Even I was wondering what this is, you know. It's written in Hebrew. I don't know if this is Hebrew or it's their language. Please somebody explain which language is this. Huh? Something, something very, very unique, you know. Somebody explain what this is. But it shows 1940 to 1945. I think this is during world wars because there's something like a cross i don't know if you can see this like a cross right there okay wow so let me go meet my friend i i know he's been waiting for me he's feeling really tired of me now it's like this guy is not serious but again i i have to do what i have to do man maybe this is uh, the problem to work with a youtuber you know and all buildings here we already passed here i think i've covered this city in a very good way what didn't i not like uh, about this city i'll say it's not actually a city it's, it's a city and a country so one thing i really didn't like is maybe expensive prices uh -uh, what happened here look this tax is not moving this taxi stopped. Look. Whoa, 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 whoa. I could cause an accident here. I see people smoking, so maybe smoking is not prohibited. Uh, you have to pass through here. Let me go see Luis, friend of mine. He wants to interview me, man. Look how they, they, they do a lot of watering in the streets. You can see right there. Right there, they are watering. Hey, this is a serious country, man. I think even the idea is just it being very small and the leaders trying to make it the best place in the world and um, some history I'm not very sure, I have to say this, I am not very sure, is a um, long time ago, before 2014, this place you could keep your money and no government would know about it, okay, this place here. So maybe that also explains why, maybe it's a maybe, I'm not sure explains why we have such big buildings and everything like this you know yes we passed here before so we're gonna be ending our video very soon because i'm meeting luis i want to say thank you so much for all those guys who have donated experience africa at experience africa what's uh, the fact that a small i don't know what to say the fact is, small everyone will see their loophole. Image isn't clear. Oh, okay. Man, I have nothing to do with that. My wish is to have clear images. 
please give the video a like subscribe to the channel thank you for everybody who you can run out of electricity lol thank you so much for everybody who donated to the channel i really appreciate i think you've learned something about luxembourg and it's been amazing i can't believe we've done it for one hour i'm one of the most hardworking youtubers you may meet in the world okay yes i'm one of the most hardworking youtubers you're gonna meet in the world i want to say thank you so much for for being here for learning something from the most rich country in the world luxembourg i think you've learned something and uh, my idea of my videos is to inspire you is to inspire you and maybe one day you're going to be president of your country or a very influential figure in your government you'll be able to change something you know you'll be able to do something you'll be able to do something for your country you know build make roads like this man look hmm? look how they put their traffic lights see serious country man huh? they do everything man serious country so i hope i hope that happens i see luis is right there he's been waiting for me I think these guys are soldiers. Yeah, they look like soldiers. So right here, I think they buried some soldiers. There's fire which burns there every day. So they have come to pay homage. We started our live stream from here. Wait. Yes, we started our live stream from here. And we're going to end it here. I want to say thank you so much. I really love you guys. And uh, this is Luxembourg. Thank you for all the donations. Maro is a five-star YouTuber. Good job, young bro. Thank you so much. I work hard. I think those guys who see my hard work appreciates me. Some people may think it's mere luck. It's not luck. It's hard work plus uh, God now supporting you. But uh, number one is hard work, man. I wake up every day in the morning and say, you know what? I have to go. I have to go. I don't feel lazy. I don't feel like, oh, let me sleep a little bit. No, I just say I want to go. Please, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. You're missing a lot. I put a lot of stories on Instagram. And also, maybe we're going to end our live stream right here. One minute, okay? We're going to end our live stream right here. Let me show you what I'm saying. We're going to end our live stream right here because there's a fire, an internal burning fire. It's... it's it's about uh, it's about somebody read it's French, but I think it's something that's happened to the army. Let's read here. I want to say thank you. They are boring people. I don't know what to say. Uh, somebody says, good job, Marwa. You inspire men. Bro, man, I took a tram. Sorry, man, for waiting, but thank you for waiting again. Yeah, I want to see this fire and we end the video from there. Okay. So you can also come and give yourself a shout out and we end the video. We are ending it right here. That is Luis. He's going to introduce himself in a minute for those guys who are watching. Uh, I'll say, man, I feel I've been in Luxembourg. You remember? The train passed over there. The other side. Not train, tram. So, Luis, what's this, man? Oh, Luis, let Luis. Yeah, Luis is... Let Luis get some information. I thought Luis knows more about this place. You see? It's like a burning fire right here. An internal fire. People will fight during World War II. Oh, World War II? Yeah. Yeah. People will fight. Yeah, 1945 to 1940. Is it 40 to 40, 45? Yes. So it's for World War II. Yeah. Wow, man. So this fire burns for them every day. Huh? Imagine how much gas they put here, 24-7, man. And that is the flags of Luxembourg. So, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. And uh, this is Luis. Luis, introduce yourself, man. Let me give you... Well, I am Luis. I am a traveler. I have a YouTube channel called Soulful Nomad. Soulful about, Nomad. Uh, or you can uh, travel and make money yes. at the same time. What do you hate the most? People saying, what? 
What do you hate the most? You don't like? I don't know. People saying I don't have money. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people leave money on the table all the, the time. They could be traveling, having fun, but they don't think sub how to do it. Subconscious, you know. Courage, because many people. Someone told me, yeah, I want to do YouTube, but I am shy in front of the camera. Someone told me I want to write article, but uh, I am uh, afraid people will judge me. You should not care about what people think about you. How many years have you been traveling? 20 years. And how did you meet Maro? 20 years of travel. How yeah. did you meet Maro? Yeah, I met Maro in the beach of Puerto Escondido in uh, Mexico. Mm -hmm. In the morning. And then, uh, then, yeah, we met with the discussion. And then I told you to go to La Punta, another yeah, beach. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we met again the same day in the then, La Punta. Since then, we've been friends. Yeah. Guys, I want to end the live stream here. Follow. Yes, oh, there are guys saying hello here. Yo, how are you, bro? All right. So, so I want to say thank you so much, guys. I want to end the live stream here. Follow Louise right there. Food soul nomad. nomad. Soul food nomad. Full, eh? Soul food nomad. Soul food. Oh, it's full. Yes. Soul food. Okay. The soul, then full, like a full glass. Soulful than nomad, okay. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, somebody says link maybe after the video, you know, we are doing a live stream, okay. So maybe you can comment, then I tag you. Uh, yeah, I, tag. I wanna say thank you so much. We've done a new country today for a few hours, and that is it. I wanna do an interview with him, and we're gonna end this live stream here. Thank you for all those guys who donated. I wanna say thank you. When you become ambassador of your country, you become very influential. Build your home, do something for your family or your home. Not for you, not, I don't mean your mom, your sister, I mean home, country. Bye bye guys. Bye. See you in my next one. Bye bye. Yeah, 